Betty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a bouncing bunny. I'm going to take two fingers in the center at the top and I'm going to put a dot right underneath. And from that dot, going towards the left, I draw a curved line out, in, come back to the dot on the right, curve line out, in. I'm going to leave both these lines floating. I come back over here on the right and I draw a big curve line out, in, connect, and on the left hand side I draw another big curve line up, out, in, connect. Now I come back to the right side and right at this point I draw a curve line in, connect, and right here on the left at the top I draw a curve line down, connect. I come inside my space and I draw a curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Right in the middle I put a dot. Right underneath big curve line. Then I go one, two on straight lines on the right, one, two, three straight lines on the left. Now I come back to the left hand side right here at this point and I draw a big curve line down, up, and connect on the right. I come back to this point on the left and I draw a curve line out, in, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, curve line out, in, connect on the right. Now I come back on the left on the bottom and I draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect on the left, Come on the right hand side, draw a curve line out, in, up, connect on the right. Now I come back in and I go one, two, three little straight lines on the left, one, two, three little straight lines on the right, come down to the left, one, two, three little straight lines on the left, one, two, three little straight lines on the right. Now because I want him to look like he's bouncing on the lower left right here I put a curve line one, curve line two, I come up here on the right curve line one, curve line two. Those are called animation lines like he's moving. Now you could stop right here and just have the bunny but if you wanted to do some Easter eggs in the back ground, put a dot on the upper left, draw a curve line out, around, up, connect, come down here on the bottom, put a dot, draw a curve line down, around, up, connect, and let's do one more down here on the right, put a dot, curve line out, around, up, connect. Come back to the first one and just go wavy, wavy, wavy line one, wavy, wavy, wavy line two, wavy, wavy line three. Come down and do the same thing, wavy, wavy line one, wavy, wavy line two, wavy, wavy line three. And over here on the right, wavy, wavy, wavy line one, wavy, wavy line two, wavy 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 line three. Okay, looks like now we are ready to color. Let's see how we're gonna do that. Okay, coloring this bouncing bunny is easy because this section of the left part of his ear should be pink and this section of the right ear should also be pink. And then I would leave him alone. He's a white bunny. But since I have my pink out, I'm now going to start coloring in my Easter eggs wherever I want. Use each color once. So that's pink. Then I did blue-green. Just pick a space, doesn't matter where. 
Then I did green. Pick a space. Keep going. And my final color is yellow. You can use different colors. You don't have to use the same ones I did. You're the artist. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my bouncing bunny all colored in, ready for spring. Okay, bye-bye.